Uh, welcome everyone. I was asked if I provide a uh, video uh, showing how the TV was installed in my Contiki 784. In this video, uh, I was asked in my, my last vlog when I did the walk around the van um, how you would attach the, the TV to this wall here within the Contiki, uh, how this was actually done. So our dealers actually did the install for me. Um, and what they've actually done, and I'll get a close up in a minute, is they've, they've got a piece of wood here which matches the panel boarding that's used to put the fridge in here. And they've actually attached this block of wood to the side here or this this piece of panel it is identical to this paneling inside the van and that's been attached with four screws and if I I'll get a close-up for you now so if I can uh, just do this and if you look here if we if we see here You'll see the where the screw holes are, one there, one there, and there are two at the bottom. They've also put this sticker on here, which says, uh, do not have TV on bracket when in transit, which is quite interesting because the bracket that they fitted is this expandable bracket. That expandable bracket takes a weight of just over seven kilos, uh, but the Avtex TV, that I've had fitted to this is only 3.1 kilo. Um, but I get what they mean because when you're going over bumps in one of these motorhomes, uh, it tends to bounce up and down a bit, the, or the motorhome does. And of course, then you've got the vibration. Um, you can see the mounting bracket that's attached here. It actually has a, actually has a weight limit on here. 7.5 kilograms maximum weight. So it's a 7.5 kilo and I've only got a three kilo TV on this. This bracket is the one that I asked them to fit. It's really popular. They're not very expensive on Amazon, um, but the, the dealer put it in for me. Again, this has got uh, six, I think that's six, yeah, that's six screw holes. Whether they've used all six, I would imagine they have. I, I really don't want to take it to bits. I could try. No, they don't come off. They're pushed solidly in. So, so I would imagine there are there are six screws in here going through this piece of wood. That piece of wood again is on with four, which goes onto here. And I would imagine they've got some glue behind that, but I don't want to trust them and and try that. Uh, it holds very well. And then up here, this is this clip is on two two screws on here. I have looked behind here, sort of roughly where one of the screws are. I've looked with my torch down there and I can't see a bolt coming through. So I do not think there is a bolt going through there. I actually think this is glued on and glued and screwed. And that's how they get um, a good fit on this. I mean, if we look here, there should, if it had been bolted, there would be another bolt coming through here, and there's not. And there's not even, a, sometimes when people put screws in, you can feel a bit of a bump. And that's quite interesting, because I can feel a very slight bump here. And that's from that screw here. So these mounting screws, now, Where's the, the other mounting screw is there. So if I run my fit, yes. So the mounting screws from this go through this block and into this block. However, they are just the right size so they don't protrude outside of here. But yeah, I can definitely feel those three on that side. They're behind here. So, so that's what's giving the strength of this stand. 
is that you've got, you've actually got six screws holding on this on. Those six are going through the two blocks of wood. And also this block of wood here is held on with four. So that gives it the strength, uh, which is why it, it's not, uh, not dropping off. I actually noticed on a couple of uh, other people, I think Fieldview Adventures have got a 794. Um, and their 794, I noticed that they've got their TV actually on here as they drive. I drove home from Coventry the other weekend along the M6 through into Shropshire and I had my TV on uh, clip back here and there's been no movement on this. Um, now, attaching the TV, <laughs> I, um, I had a, a cobbled together aerial wire from home that, that I've used I've used on this till I get myself there. I want a shorter black cable to, to come across. But they're just showing how the the TV mounts. I just so when you're mounting the, the TV on here, I just put that's it. I just that's my gesture control on, on the camera because I'm using the uh, iSteady uh, gimbal which has uh, follow me mode and uh, that just turned it on. So put the TV. This is really good for taking the TV on and off. So what you have here, this is my, my, my Avtex TV 24 inch on the back here. Uh, four screws, mounts this uh, clip on plastic plate. This clip on plastic plate slots into here so when you put the tv on all you have to do is slot that on there and the tv is clipped in attach your pack my power cables and my aerial cable and i put my aerial cable in the side oh, got that in and there's the tv now the TV, of course, you can have it like this way, so we can have it pulled right out. I can push it that way. I can angle it up and down. But also, this is what I like about this stand is you can fold this in, and there's a little clip here. But so I push that in. Things never go right when you. And that goes on. There it goes. Pushing the clip up. There. And the, the TV is now clipped into, into the back here so it can't come out. It can still move a little bit back and forward, but it doesn't, it, it actually doesn't pull out at all. Not unless I pull the clip up on the back. I pull that clip up, that releases it on the stand. So that when I, I'm in transit, I can just take the cables off. Just took my cables away there. Little clip on the back, just push the clip. Lifts it off, TV's off, very lightweight, as I say, 3K. And then that can go on the bed or wherever for storage. So that's for one of the subscribers who wanted to know um, how you install this. Um, yeah, you get another block of wood. So the recommendation is do not screw this stand straight into here. You need a block of wood uh, behind, preferably one that matches this colour. Um, probably your dealer would be able to um, get you a piece of this, or you might be able to get a piece of this online because it's probably a, a very common colour. So, back to it up. As I say, there's that little clip that I just showed here. That's that. I'll show you that little clip. If I can, there. you 
can see. Can you see that bit there? No. Okay, so that's the uh, the piece on the TV. Just, just a close up on that clip for you. There it is, that's that little clip that holds the, the stand in so it doesn't pull out. Anyone who's interested in the, the power at the top, the bank, you've got a 12 volt 6 amp. The top, you've got a satellite, an aerial, you've got a 240 volt. And then there are two USBs there, a 5 volt 2.1 amp, two of them, they're USB-A down at the bottom here. So thank you very much for watching.